The Larishu's Wellness Center went up in flames mysteriously over seven years ago. According to the parliamentary representative for Denry North, Sean Edward, the absence of the health facility has created much distress for residents. As a result, the Richfall Wellness Center was left to fill the void, having to serve overwhelming numbers of clients at times. The Denry North MP says the reinstatement of the facility will not only benefit the residents, but also the overburdened staff at the Richmond facility. For a number of years now, we've had to rely on the Richmond Health Facility to service all of the Marbella Valley and environs. So with the recommissioning of the Larissus Wellness Center, I think it will ease the burden on the Richmond facility. Um, the, the personnel, doctors, nurses and other healthcare providers who operate from Richmond, I'm sure they too will welcome the reinstatement of the Larissus facility. The Denry North MP recognizes the need to encourage healthy living, particularly in the Denry North Basin, which has been marked as having high records of non-communicable diseases. Principal Nursing Officer Julita Frederick Cassius says the Community Nursing Unit is extremely pleased so far with the site plans presented. When the facility does reopen, we hope to um, increase the medical services that we would have offered um, previously so we want to be we want to increase that as well and and also the environment the, the the office spaces will be more convenient and comfortable more spacious we can see um, with the tour we are very pleased to see that we have additional spaces that have been allocated to the consultation rooms so it means that the clinicians the staff would have a bit more comfort to operate um, within and of course we know our clients as well would be very satisfied with the services once they um, once they access those services when we reopen. The ministry's chief medical officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George elaborated further on the additional services to be provided at the facility. We are happy for the increased spacing, the, the bigger facility which will give us the chance to increase our medical clinics, also to increase the services that we provide, such as internal medicine and also dental services will be provided at that facility, while we continue to provide the services that were there previously. We'll also be providing pediatric care. Permanent Secretary Jenny Daniel says the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues on the road to the universal health care reform while also strengthening its health systems and supporting infrastructure. Our keywords are accessibility and affordability. The construction of this wellness centre really is reflective of our strive towards making healthcare more accessible to all communities, no matter how remote, how you know, distant they may be, um, to make those, those health, health, health services that they need a lot more accessible. So the reconstruction of this wellness centre falls in line and you know, is very much in keeping with that perspective and that goal of the Ministry of Health. Also, we, of course, are aware that many of the persons who access our health facilities are elderly. So again, in keeping consistently with our, our mandate to, to look after elderly, uh, the elderly affairs mandate. Health Minister Moses Jabatis says many of the other facilities on island have already begun the process of reform and refurbishment. We are increasing access to quality health care and specialist services at the Ancillary Wellness Centre, Soufre Hospital, Beaufort Wellness Centre, um, Brazilian Polyclinic, and we are looking at the Castries Urban Polyclinic. So the same, the same thing goes here for, for the Larishus Wellness Centre. We will be increasing services. You have heard about the, dent, the new dental services, which will be available. But also we are hoping that over time we can increase specialist services so that the people in the Mabuya Valley and the, the, the communities that surround the, the Mabuya Valley can get access to quality healthcare services. The Larishus Wellness Center reconstruction project is said to be well on the way for a July 2024 completion.